This is uh, Rick with Bright White Paper Company, and I'm going to show you a very, very simple way to uh, load your uh, cold laminator, the Xyron 2500. Uh, it could be known as the 3M uh, or the Scotch brand 1050, uh, the Veriquest machine, the Pro Finish, even the uh, Cool Lam laminator. And I've got this on a sprinter rack, which I uh, actually uh, recommend. This is something that we actually offer. Um, and what it does is it gives you the ability to put your laminator on uh, a simple platform and uh, whether you have this whole platform on a rolling cart or not, but you can load this machine. The machine needs to be loaded from the front and the back and anybody who has to physically move this machine from the front and the back knows how uh, difficult or heavy that is. So this just makes it real nice and easy. So if you're in the market for it, you can look for that, uh, that spinner um, uh, tray on our website. All right. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm taking the top off and you're always loading your machine from uh, the back. That's the way you're going to start loading your machine. Now, all these rolls are color coded. You can see that. Each end cap is color coded. Uh, it corresponds with the colors on the, uh, your machine. Um, they also literally say top or bottom. But to make it nice and easy, the bottom roll is always going to have your starter lip on it. The lip is generally four to six inches, somewhere around in there. So it makes it nice and uh, easy for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my roll and I'm going to insert this. Another thing you should remember uh, to make it uh, also easy for you is that the adhesive uh, always marries in the middle. So in the case of the bottom, the adhesive is going to be up. In the case of the top, the adhesive is going to be uh, on the bottom. And that's how they uh, generally, uh, that's how it always uh, works, loads together. So what I'm going to do now is from the front of the machine, I'm going to take that lip that I put in and I'll pull this out a little bit. This is a roll that I've been using for a while. So uh, that doesn't mean, uh, you know, you'll be starting with full rolls generally. And I take this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in between the black rollers in the machine. And all I'm going to do is move the handle gently that much. I mean, just enough so that it's caught in the machine. So we've taken the, uh, the lip, we've fed it into the black rollers, and that's all I've done is just feed it just like that, just that much, not necessary. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the roll from the back, and again, color code it the red and the green, just follow the dots in here. The top roll is a little bit more uh, difficult because it's sealed to itself. So what we have to do is we have to find that lip, which is right here. And what we do is we start peeling it up. Now you want to peel it up gently, okay? Just peel it up from the roll gently. Do it to the best of your ability without tearing it, okay? tear it then it becomes a pain. Now what I like to do just so everybody's on the same page just so we know this I peel it off and what I actually do is I actually fold it over. Okay so now I've created my own lip. Now from the front of the machine I'm going to roll this around again again making it nice and easy with that uh, spinner. I'm going to take this I'm going to peel pull it out. Again if you think of it this way the adhesive from the bottom is up, the adhesive from the top is down, and all I'm going to do is literally place this on to the lip on the bottom. So all I've done is I've taken it off the top, I've literally placed it on the lip from the bottom. It doesn't have to be placed on any adhesive. The concept here is now well, I'm going to roll this through, and when I roll it through, because it's attached to the lip, the lip now is between the black rollers. It's now going to carry it through to the back of the machine. Okay? So now I'm going to spin this around just like this, and hopefully you can see this a little bit easier. And I'm going to run this through. You can see my lip starting to come through, I hope. And okay. Now, this is all crinkly. Okay? That's not a big deal. It's all crinkly. Okay? But what it's done is, by attaching it to that lip, it's now carried it through the machine. Now I'm going to stop it. I'm going to trim it. All right. So what we've done is we've rolled it through, we've stopped it, and I've trimmed off uh, this excess waste. All right. Now we're going to go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to take pieces of cardboard. Now I've already cut these. 
make my life a little bit easier. So it's a good way to start. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed the cardboard through the machine. When we feed it through the machine, the laminate itself is all of a sudden going to start clearing itself up from all those wrinkles. So I'm going to insert this into the black rollers. Now, sometimes if you pick too thick a cardboard, and it really doesn't matter, it could be a business card, it could be very simple, it doesn't make a difference how thick your cardboard is. But uh, what you'll notice as I start rolling it through the machine, that the wrinkles start coming up, but they start clearing itself up. So watch what happens. We're rolling this through, okay? And all of a sudden you'll notice, okay, that the wrinkles that we had here are all of a sudden gone here and are starting to run off and now they're all gone, okay? So we've actually, what it's done is it's actually set itself up and now it's all clear. Once we trim this, okay, that is theoretically all the waste that we're gonna have with this machine. And all you do, insert your tray again, you can put your top on, And we're going to take that original that we've got, we're going to slide this in, just like this. And all we're going to be doing is lining it up wherever we want to line this up. So you can see this line here that I've got, doesn't matter where, line it up. I'm going to come in contact with the film and all I'm going to do is hand crank it through. And you'll notice it's as clear as can be. Stop and start it where I want, trim it exactly where I want, Oop. and we have crystal clear laminate. Now look, I'm clear on the subject that it's not always that easy, that it might take several pieces of cardboard, and what I would do is if you've got wrinkles on this side, put the cardboard on this side. If you have wrinkles in the middle, start the cardboard there, and you know, eventually it will clear itself up. My guess is the most waste you should have once you've done this a couple times is probably about five feet or so. Uh, this was uh, only probably about a foot or two, so that worked out real well. If you run across a situation where you start laminating, and in the middle of your lamination, it could be in the middle of the roll, it makes absolutely no difference, you start getting wrinkles, just stop the machine, take the tray out, feed some cardboard through where the wrinkles are, it should clear itself up and go from there. You don't have to take the rolls out, you don't have to do anything, just leave it, insert your cardboard and go from there. It's that easy to load.